right? I'm gonna say Shalom. Shalom. All right, for the foremost, before we get started, we're gonna face the east. We'll give all honor and glory and power to Yahweh. 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 I'm gonna say double honor to our elders, our great apostles, great millstone, GMS, and rule well, teach well, being a great example to Israel, my dear elect. I'm gonna say peace and blessings, peace and blessings to the hopeless elect on the four corner, pushing the truth and sincerity. They're great song. All right, GMS Memphis Count, we just come with a lesson. All right, do the spirit of power of Yahweh by Shimon Shah. And you can see on the title, <clears throat> The Lord's Anger. All right, and this part of what's coming upon this place, the Lord's Anger, man. All right, also the deliverance, you know, the elect coming back, Israel coming back to know who they are. All right, enter into that promise, was given unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. All right, before that, hey, the Lord's anger, man, is coming upon. His wrath is going to touch this earth, man. And mainly, uh, uh, Babylon the Great, you know. So we're going to get into it. I hope your brothers and sisters be edified, you know, while we lay the law down, man. This is the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 33 and verse 3. If when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. Is that do who? This is Ezekiel 33 and 3. If when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet. Right, he blow the trumpet. And who is that that's blowing the trumpet? The watchman. You know, didn't I say that in the, uh, what that is, Ezekiel uh, 3? Huh? Yeah, he said, well, he has said a watchman. What is a watchman to do? To watch. And when he sees something, he alert the people with what? With a sound. All right? And what you have now, the prophets on the highways and the hedges, start with the apostles, we give you that, that certain sound of what? The sound of warning, the sound of danger. All right? The sound of destruction. And who bringing that destruction? Hey, you have about Shemel Shah. All right? He going to send his only begotten son, you have a shot, man to bring the wrath, man, along with the angels. All right? Oh, read it again. You got something? All right. This is Ezekiel 33 and 3. If when he said the sword come upon the land. Right, and when he said the sword come upon the land, which is coming. All right? Because we hear the wars, the rumors of wars. We see it. All right, go ahead. He blow up the trumpet. He blow up the trumpet, meaning what? He warned you, man. All right, so guess what we doing? We warning you. All right, it's high time to wake out of sleep. All right, because what? Destruction and death and famine is coming to this place, man. Go ahead, Ah. And warn the people. Right, and warn the people. Go ahead, Ah. Now. This is the book of Jeremiah 6 and 17. Also, I said, watchmen over you. Right, he said what? Watchmen over you, man. Say right, From a sheep like sheep to shepherds, man. Go ahead. It said, also I said, watchman over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. Right, hearken. Hearken means to listen. All right, to what? To the sound of the trumpet. And what and what sound are we, we uh, blowing? All right, what warning sound is we giving? Destruction. Why are they doing that? I don't know. I ain't no sound like that. Ain't no sign out. You're doing it. You like singing, basically. Go ahead, now. He said, read, read, read the, uh, the topic. Yeah, the Jeremiah 6 and 17. Also, I said, watch me over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. Right, hearken to the sound of the trumpet, man. But they said, we were not hearken. Right, that's two, what? That's two thirds of our people. Uh -huh. All right, because we don't give a damn about you, you so called white people. All right? You so-called Africans and, and, and so-called Chinese and Japanese, the Earth, the Arab. We don't, we don't, we don't give a damn about you, uh, Ishmaelites. All right? We, 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 we talking about our people, man. All right? We talking about the hopefully elect, man. We telling them to return back to the Heavenly Father. All right? Put off their evil doings, man. This is the warning because guess what? When time comes, you ain't going to have no excuse. The scriptures say you ain't gonna have no cloak for your sin, cause what? The Lord has sent the prophets out early. All right, we commanded to go out to the highways and the hedges and bid them to the marriage. You see? Go ahead. I'll... This Don't is on that. Yeah, All right. So this is the book of Amos, chapter three. I mean, Salaki, chapter eight, verse three. Right. And the songs of the temple shall be houses right. in that day. Said the Lord, you have by Shem shot. What day? Go ahead. There shall be many dead bodies in every place. 
They say it shall what be many dead bodies and what every place. They didn't just say uh, some places. All right, they didn't just put a specific name on a place. They said in every place, man. Why? Because Israel was scattered what in every place. All right, so judgment gonna go forth. As he scattered us, he gonna gather us. But with that gathering, destruction is coming, man. All right. The same time the Lord is delivering us, he's destroying too at the same time. And that place mainly going to take work in Babylon and Great, which is a miracle. All right, time is ticking. All right? That, 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 that's it on that line. Uh, nah, that's good. So, no. A little more, go ahead. Con. It says, there shall be many dead bodies in every place. They shall cast them forth with silence. Woo! No. Read that in uh, the NLT. Con. get a better understanding. So this is the book of Amos, chapter 8 and verse 3. It down so wrong. In, in, in the NLT. Right. And it reads, in that day, the singing in the temple would turn to wailing. Woo, the singing in the temple going to be what? Turn to wailing. It said that the scripture speaks of how it's going to be, uh, 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 the people going to be mourning, and they're going to be gnashing the teeth. All right? And ain't going to be no hope, man. Go ahead. Dead bodies will be scattered <laughs> everywhere. What? Dead bodies is going to be scattered everywhere, man. Hey, you got to think what the Lord is coming with. He said it's going to be a lot of time like never before. And it's called what? Jacob Trouble, man. You see, once they, once they, uh, one domino get pushed, it's an ongoing process, man. All right? It, it ain't, ain't going to end until you have about Shema Shah come back and deliver the elect. You see? That's what's going to happen. Go ahead, Doc. Dead bodies will be scattered everywhere. Right, dead bodies are going to be scattered everywhere. You got the precept out uh, in Psalms, or you're going to grab the one you pulled. You know the one in uh, Psalm 91, yeah. on 10,000 on the right side. Yeah. But go ahead, Doc. Dead bodies will be scattered everywhere. Right, dead bodies are going to be scattered everywhere. We ain't, we ain't seen that yet, man. All right, we, we probably seen it on a movie, but it's something about seeing and experiencing it. You see, we're going to experience these things, man. All right, what, slowly but surely. Yeah. You see, because it's a process, all right, that, that's being happening in the heavens, man. All right, everything is taking its course. That's why the Lord said, they would tell it, wait for it. But what, it shall surely come. But guess what? These things that we are speaking, we are warning you about, is going to come. Yeah. All right, it's not no lie, man. We yet today in our captivity. That was spoken a long time ago. Where we at now? In our captivity. You see? And what? We remember ourselves, man. Go ahead, Doc. They will be carried out of the city in silence. Woo! I, the sovereign Lord, Yahweh Shem Shah, have spoken. Man, the Lord has spoken. What? Through who? The mouth of the prophets. All right? Matthew, what they Matthew uh, 10 and 20? It's not you that speak, but your father will speak within you. All right? Did he not tell us to go down and warn the people? All right? He said, what? Uh, what is that? 2nd Ezra 15th chapter? You know, you'll grab it real quick. 2nd Ezra 15 and 1. All this going to warn him to what? To our people, man. The Lord don't give a damn about you other nation. He count y'all as spittles. Drop them a bucket. He only concerned by his people. But man, who? Though, the elect, though, was written in the book of life, man. All right, that's what this whole movie about, about, about delivering the elect in one third. All right, go ahead. Huh? This is Second Ezra chapter 15 and one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. See the words of prophecy, go ahead. Which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. See, so the Lord ordained us, man. He put the spirit on us to come out here and prophesy, man. All right. So this is not us speaking, it's Yahweh or Yahushua was speaking within us. But you can jump back to the other uh, precept. You got it out. Yeah. Go ahead. This is the book of Psalms, not in one and seven. Huh. A thousand shall fall at that side. Just bring one verse. Right, I six. know it's a switch, but go ahead. I'll start at five. Right. Psalms 91 5. That should not be afraid for the tail by night, right. nor for the arrow that fly by day. That's right. No for the message. Go ahead. No for the pestilence that walk it in darkness, yeah. no for the destruction that wasted in noon. Let's talk about the new world order. Go ahead. It's saying a thousand should fall at thy side, 
and 10,000 at that white right, side. Right, what I just said, so right right there's gonna be a lot of bodies, man. So you got what, 10,000 on the right side, what? It said 1,000 should fall at that side and 10,000 at that right hand. Woo, that's a lot of bodies. What? Go ahead. But it should not come nigh thee. See, but it gonna come towards who? The elect, man. All right? So we telling you, we behoove you to what? To hearken to the voice of the Lord because this is what's coming. All right? Chaos. All right? Uh, 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 man, to, to the max. A lot of confusion. All right, people running like like a chicken with their head cut off. You know, it's gonna be a lot of uh, house invasion. All right, this is prophecy, man. Go ahead, Doc. Uh, <laughs> Jeremiah 25 and 33. And the slain of the Lord should be at that day from one end of the earth even to the other end of the earth. All right, matter of fact, uh, Isaiah It say, <laughs> it say <laughs> they should not be lamented Neither gather nor bury. Right, we'll read it one more time, bro. It said Jeremiah 25, 33. And the slain of the Lord should be at that day for one end of the earth to the other end. What, what day? It's coming. You see? And he said the slain of the Lord should be what? <laughs> On every end of the earth, man. Yep. Go ahead. They should not be lamented. They should not be lamented. Neither gather nor bury. Yeah, yeah. They should be dug upon the ground. Yeah. They said, what? Well, they should not be lamented. What else out? Neither gather nor bury. They should be dug upon the ground. Right, exactly. <laughs> but that's going to be the elite's uh, first job. Yep. You know, they ain't going to have time to bury their kin folks, man. That's how bad it's going to be. That's a bad time, man. You ain't even got time to set a barrier up. You know what I'm saying? Go down to, to the funeral home, fill the application out, get them time to call you back. You don't have to tap none of that. You're going to have to leave him or her where she and he is, man. No, no time and we're trying to worry about your life. How you going to find safety? You see? Why? Because when you get had liberty, what you do? You despise it. All right? So for you despising the word of the Yahweh Bashamah Shah, guess what? You're going to dwell in the torment, man. And one of the torment is what? I'm talking about nuclear missiles. See, that's what the Lord is coming with. What he say? I come to send what? Fire. He ain't say he, he said he ain't come to send peace on earth. You see? But a sword. Go ahead, huh? This is Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 15. I'm like, read that again one more time, then we can jump straight into that. All right. This is uh, the book of Jeremiah 25 and 33. And the slain of the Lord should be at that day. From one end of the earth, even onto the other end of the earth. Right. There should not be lamented, yeah. neither gathered, nor buried. There should be dug upon the ground. Woo. Go ahead, y'all. This is Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire Woo. and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Yeah, I, ain't, I ain't never heard that in church. <laughs> you know, you want to tell somebody about the Lord, you know, tell someone about the Lord. Hey. That's, that's a perfect uh, 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 precept to bring out. If somebody want to cry to the Lord to how he coming. See, this is a perfect precept to bring out. How's the Lord coming back? Boom. Go ahead. I to render his anger. To render his anger because the belief that we had in Christianity, all right, we was in the world that we believed that the Lord was what? All love. He won't do no wrong. He won't cause no harm. All right? That's the deception of Christianity. But through the knowledge and wisdom and understanding, all right, give him on high, we understand who control and, and what our Lord is, man. How much anger he uphold, all right, from, from what they have done to him, man, even to the children of Israel. All right? Go ahead, uh. To render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. All right, because the Lord coming with judgment. All right? That's why I said he gonna, he gonna uh, give you according all right, to what are you done evil or what are you done uh, righteous? All right, the reward is with him. All right, but that's how he gonna do it. What by fire? Go ahead, I. Verse sixteen. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord be with all flesh. See, by what? By fire and by his sword will the Lord what? Plead with all flesh, man. All right, so you you want to be on the the the, uh, the mercy side of your high by Shemar shot. All right, that's why we're telling you to repent, man, to turn back. All right, because if you don't, 
it's, 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 it's nothing for you, man. All right? <laughs> the Lord even told us, don't put up a cry for them. Oh, man, yes. You know what I'm saying? Don't cry for these people, man, when they actually, when you seeing Jake suffer. You see? Well, and the Lord got us in a in 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 solid mind. You know? Praising him. You know what I'm saying? But these other people, bro, it, it, it's gonna bug you out. But the scriptures, that's why the Lord gave us the comfort. Because this was gonna comfort us and keep our minds stable when times uh when times go on like this, man. When the chaos kick off. You see? We will see we receive the cheat code. Go ahead. And the slain of the Lord, Yahweh Bashimi Hawashah, shall be many. Right, and it's gonna be many. It just said that when the brother just broke it out. All right, the Lord gonna start killing these people, man. And we ain't just talking about you so-called Negroes, Latino, Native American, Spanish. We talking about all peoples, man. All right, every nation upon this earth, man. The Lord gonna start doing away with these people, man. All right, but man, when He said He's gonna start work at the house of Israel, man. Well, you got that word, uh, the lamented. Come on, huh? This is the word, uh, lamented. In the online etymology dictionary. Come on. It says, mourn for. Mourn for, go ahead. Uh, it says, uh, past participle adjective from lament. You go to lament. It says, uh, from old French, lamenter, to moan, bewail, to wail, moan, weep, uh, a wailing, moaning, and weeping. Yeah, why? Because the Lord is coming with anger. See, he's not coming in, in, the, in the spirit that he once came in. All right, which was that, 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 that lamb. You see, he coming as a lion this time, man. So he ain't got time to be feeling sorry for you niggas that couldn't get it. Or that you niggas that put your hand against the, to the plow, man. And then you took it off. Took your hand for the fly. You see? The Lord that got he ain't finna be wailing for y'all, man. He gonna destroy y'all. That's what the Lord gonna do, man. He ain't finna waste no time when he get here. Ain't no talking. This is the anger of Yahweh by Shema Shah, man. Alright? And, and what the Lord say in, in uh uh Ezekiel, the 35 chapter against Esau. Alright? His anger is his spirit gonna be put upon us, man. The anger that we're gonna have is the Lord's anger. Come on, man. Go ahead, Doc. So the Lord, the, the anger that Yahweh Yahweh Shai got is who? Of Yahweh. You know, he been do man, the Lord gonna come down here and do man do damage, man. Talking about somebody on the rampage. He said he gonna uh, 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 cry like a travailing woman, man. Alright? You got some up? Yeah, Go ahead. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 4, verse 1. For behold, the day coming that shall burn as an oven. Right, and this and all this include Yahweh Shai. All right. The day come that burn as an oven. Go ahead, Doc. Yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. Right, all that do wickedly shall be stubble, man. That means two-thirds of our people, any other nation, they're gonna get it. Alright? That's what's coming down the pipeline, man. This, I right, these people gonna be stubborn. Go ahead, I. And the day they coming shall burn them up, saith the Lord, you have by Shimi have a shot. Right. That it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Right. They won't have no foundation. Esau ain't gonna have no foundation. Neither roof nor branch. Come on, man. That's it. You take the root out of the ground, that's it. Go ahead. Let's sit on that. Go ahead right now. Now this second Chronicles 36 and 15. It said, the Lord Yahweh by Shemel Shah, their fathers sent to them by his messengers. Why should not be times of sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dealing place. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. He broke it down too. Yo, know, he said basically the prophets out to warn you, you know. Why is it up early before um, all hell uh, uh, kicked off, man? So verse 16. It said, but they mock the messengers of the Most High, which are the prophets, you know. But they mock the messengers of the Most High and despise his words and misuse his prophets. Until the wrath of the Lord awoke against his people, till there was no remedy. Right, so the wrath of the Lord, you know. Because hey, the prophets is giving you one and blowing that trumpet that the devil should come down uh, having great wrath, you know, because he had more a short time. 
That's so right. it's the same thing. I want to say no, no new thing under the sun. Yeah. You know, so just because you ain't hawking to the sound of the trumpet now, the same wrath gonna be upon you, man. You know, Esau, you don't go have your way with though. He said that sword being sharp, and he's gonna make a sword slaughter in the book of Ezekiel, the twenty-four chapter, man. Yeah. So that sword is coming, man. And you misusing the prophets, man. And the scripture said, "Then should be no a prophet me among you, man." When these prophecies take place, that's right. You know, which we see. All right, we we seeing prophecy unfolding, man. All right, that's why uh, it, it was on the apostle. I right, to say I ain't three videos a week because prophecy is, is, is being manifest, man. Poor eyes. You know, everything is here. It just gotta be a uh, 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 mandated, put in, put in place. You know, that's what we patiently waiting on. The so-called white man make his move. When he either might make that move, the Lord make his move, and we get closer and closer, man. Got it all. Right. This is the book of Luke, chapter eighteen and verse seven. Yeah. And shall not the Most High avenge his own elect? Exactly. See, shall not Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai avenge his own elect, man? Go ahead. Which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them. That's right. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. The Lord says speedily, man. Go ahead. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? That's right. And he gonna find faith what through the elect, because the one that without faith, what's gonna happen unto them? They gonna catch the Lord's anger. They gonna catch his wrath. They gonna die in their own faithfulness. Yeah. Yeah, my friend grabbed it. And uh, he started, uh, I think, 11. Yeah, this second message is 15, I mean, yeah, 15 and 4. It said, uh, for all the unfaithful should die in their unfaithfulness. Right. It said, behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, this sword, famine, death, and destruction. Exactly. You see that? Read it one more time, huh? Yep. It say, uh, Behold, said the Lord, you have us in my shot. Right. I will bring plagues upon the world. Right. He said he's going to bring plagues upon the world, man. All this is going until when the Lord hey, come and deliver the elect, man. All right. All this is going to be going on simultaneous, man. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> he said, uh, I will bring plagues upon the world. Right. This war. The sword. The famine. Famine. Death. Death. And destruction. All this is the power you have by Shabbat Shah. You see, all this in the hands of the Lord, man. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jumping down to uh, 11, it said, but I'll bring them with a mighty hand and a stretch out arm. Right, because he said he going to uh, avenge his elect. You see, so who is his arm? Yahweh Shah. Go ahead. And smite. Egypt with plagues. And he said he gonna spike Egypt with plagues. Go ahead. It's before. It's what? Before. <laughs> so you see what we got coming? All right, the night in the time of Egypt, <laughs> all the plagues came upon them. The same thing gonna happen in this Egypt, man. Remember, this is the second Egypt. Right. Go ahead. And we destroy all the land there was. Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it should be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Mosai should bring upon it. Exactly. Why? Because this is the Lord's anger. All right? And this is how he going to bring forth his anger upon the earth. But this time, it's going to be worse than in any time ever, man. All right? This last time the Lord going to ever have to show his power. He showed his power once when he delivered us. He, he split the Red Sea. But this time, he's going to show his power when he take this fucking devil down, man. All right. You got something? Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah. This is uh, the book of Habakkuk, chapter three, and verse eight. It reads, "Was the Lord displeased against the rivers? Was thy anger against the rivers? Was thy wrath against the sea? Man. That thou ridest upon thy horses and thy chariots of salvation." You see that? <laughs> Read that one more time, Mark. This is this, this how 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 powerful the Lord is coming with His anger, man. Go ahead. This is Habakkuk chapter three and eight. Because it speaks about how the uh the 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 the, the earth gonna shake, man. Go ahead. Was the Lord displeased against the rivers? Man, was he just was he mad at the waters? Go ahead. Was that anger against the rivers? Woo. Was thy wrath against the sea that thou didst ride upon the horses right. and thy chariots of salvation? Right. 
This is uh, Habakkuk 3 and 8 in the NLT. It reads, was it in anger, Lord, that you struck the rivers and parted the sea? Was it in, in his anger? Go ahead. Were you displeased with them? No, you were sending your chariots to salvation. He was what? Sending his chariots with what? Salvation. For who? The elect. You see? Because what? That's their quick avenge, man. All right? When he delivered the elect, they be beamed up. Guess what else coming? The destruction. Yeah, I got some too. Huh? I got come on, come on, huh? That's what's going to happen. But that's why, you know, like I say, we in Babylon, man. We can't go nowhere. So your best bet is to be uh, covered in the spirit and hide in his, in his, uh, in his secret places, which is what? The truth. That's where you want to be at. You want to be able to have a defense, man, when these things come. All right, you need a shield. You know what I'm saying? You need protection. Okay, they just said, who was he sitting here in chariots? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is 16 and 18. It said, behold, the heaven and the heaven of heavens, the deep and the earth, and all that there is shall be moved when he shall visit. Woo! It's going to move when he visit. It said the mountains also and foundations of the earth be uh, be shaken with trembling when the Lord looking upon them. Come on, boy. <laughs> Everything, <laughs> Everything. Cause, but that's beautiful. Right? That's beautiful. One more time, bro. That's beautiful. Yeah, because the Lord come on the chair. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's beautiful. Right? You, know? you just cause you got, you know what I'm saying? You got a picture there. You know what I'm saying? You got a picture there, but it ain't no 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 better way to uh, picture just just to see it. You know, one more time, brother. For the top? Yeah, oh, no, just that, that, that part. It said, the mountains also and foundations of the earth be shaken with trembling when the Lord looking upon them. Man. Yeah. Ooh, that's brutal, power. That's power right there. That's, that, that's power, man. Yeah. And then guess what? If Lord willing, we are part of that number, we're going to take a uh, part of this. You see? We're going to take part of that, man. We're going to have that, that same like power, man. You know, that's beautiful, bro. Go ahead, Doc. So, I'm going to read uh, Nahum 1, 3 down to verse 6. Okay. It's Nahum 1, starting at verse 3. The Lord, Yahweh, is slow to anger and great in power. Yep. And will not at all with the wicked. Exactly. That's why the, the uh, 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 we right here, what we at now, not grace period. Because he's slow to anger. But he said, what? Well, he quick and what? And wrath. Go ahead. The Lord Yahweh had his way in the whirlwind Woo. and in the storm and in the clouds are the dust of his feet. And that's why they were asking. Was you mad at the sea, Lord? You know, because the Lord controls everything, man. You, you wonder how you get a big ass wave on, on, on you know, say the beach, big ass wave, but when they get straight to the shore, what it do? It calm down, it wave, and it go back in. Why? Because the Lord's controlling it, man. If he wanted to, he could have a big ass wave and just and just flood everything, you know. But then he's showing you his power. That, that, that's a, a small thing right there, you know. How the waves roar, come down. That, that's power. Can nobody explain that, man? A tornado. Can nobody explain that, really? That's the power you have by Shemaiah Shah. Why? Because he have his way with it, just like the people. He have his way with the people. You got it up. He rebuked the sea. And make it dry and dry it up all the rivers. That's what happened in what? Ancient Egypt. You see? Who knows how, uh, the plague that the Lord's gonna bring this time, man? Take my dog, it's hard. Go ahead, dog. But Sean languishes, and Carmel and the flower of Lebanon languishes. The mountains quake at him, mm. and the hills melt, mm. and the earth is burned at his presence. Mm. Yea, the world and all that dwell therein. Who can stand before his indignation? And who can abide in his in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire, and the rocks are thrown down by him. Mm. You got it. Man, that was beautiful. Hey, but he said that the what the rocks are thrown down by him. Did not he what he tell Esau? He just he shall build, but what I shall throw down. See, but that's what the Lord coming to do. The Lord coming to destroy this this uh, current rulership, man. All right, which is ruled by the wicked. The Lord is coming to destroy that. He coming to put all crowns upon his head, man. 
But guess what? Along with him coming, what he bringing? He bringing what? Fire. The brother got in the um, Matthews. Go ahead, bro. It's the book of Psalms 7 and 11. It say, the most high judges the righteous and the most high is angry with the wicked every day. Right, the most high is angry with the wicked every day. The wicked, uh, chief wicked is Esau Edom, the other nation. Man, more than uh, two thirds of our people. He is angry with the wicked every day, man. All right, that's why I say uh, every morning, do not his judgment go forth. Every morning, bring your judgment to light. Every morning. Why? Because he is angry, but this is the sign of, uh, of his anger. Yep. All right? <laughs> Seeing Jake, you know, you be like, why the hell that happened? You know, or look, it just it's like two days ago, a fucking um, three-year-old baby pulled a gun and shot her mama from the back seat. Man, three years old, from the back seat. Should that be uh, spirits craving revenge? You know what I mean? Yep. Cause they said wickedness has seemingly polluted the whole earth, man. And the Mosiah is angry with the wicked every day. Man. Each day goes by, wickedness goes on. Yeah. The Mosiah is upset with uh, upset with it. Man. The way the Lord said, uh, her sins have reached unto heaven. Yep. And knowing right. that the Lord's angry every day, what, what make you think he coming back with lollipops and flowers, man? You know? You talking about he all love. He, 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 you know, you see? And they say vengeance burning in his heart, man. Yeah. You know? Ben just bundling in his heart. <laughs> That's right. You got it. In Psalms 21 and 9 in the NLT, I'm going to start at 8. It says, you will capture all your enemies. Your strong hand will seize all who hate you. Man, that's the power of our Lord. All right? Do you not do that for the prophets of old? All right? Hey, every, every time the, the, uh, the other nation knew, man, we went to war, hey, we would, we would, uh, and hand in tune with our power, they couldn't do nothing about it. Cause they knew that the power you have by Shema Shah gonna take care of everything with the angels, man. <laughs> All you had to do is just have faith to go out and, and, and do it. He said, with this with the precepts and songs, teach my hands to war. Alright? That what the Lord have that what the Lord do, man. And guess what? We've been a, we we actually return to the in the tune with our power, but in the kingdom of heaven, it's gonna be all one hundred. Go ahead, I'll start back and read through. It says, you will capture all your enemies. Your strong hand will seize all who hate you. Yeah. You will throw them in a flaming furnace when you appear. Ooh. The Lord will consume them in his anger. Fire, fire will devour them. Man, this is how shot. This is how shot gonna do to his enemies. Yeah. And those that hate things. He gonna throw them in what? The fire, which is a miracle. See, America is the lake of fire, man. Not no fucking hell. You know what I'm saying? You're going to burn forever. No. This is this is what the Lord is bringing. Yep. Go ahead. <laughs> you will wipe their children from the face of the earth. Woo! They will never have descendants. They will never have descendants. Who are they talking about, man? He saw Edom. Look at in Jeremiah. We say he go, oh, Nephries. Isaiah. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, feel, they don't feel uh, the face of the cities no more. Uh, 14. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, talk about it's 11. Although they plot against you, although they plot against the Lord, there are right. evil schemes. Yeah, what is one of the evil schemes? One of the like that. What is one of the evil schemes? The the new world order. God. You see, because he he trying to plot against the Lord. How can he uh, 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 make it out of World War Three and still be on top to to further, to, to further his order? All right, but the Lord gonna what? Throw a monkey wrench in the game. The devil actually think that he can deceive the Lord, man. You know, but one one thing about it, two things for sure, three things for certain. This devil is going down, man. All right, and he and he gonna own up to it, man. What? In slavery. All right, but you can read that part again. Talk about slavery. The last one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Psalms 21 and 11, you talking about wiping away their children or? Uh, uh, bring that, bring that. Oh, okay. This yeah. Psalms 21 and 10, you will wipe their children from the face of the earth. Woo! They will never have descendants. Yeah, they what? Will never have descendants. Go ahead and talk about. 
Although they plot against you, although they plot against you, go get that in the song. Watch with the uh, need the rage, imagine the bang thing. Go ahead. Their evil schemes will never succeed. See? Their evil see, uh, schemes will never what? Succeed. Succeed. Matter of fact, also, Joe, you got that Joe uh, 21? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? I think Joe 21 of uh, Spy. Go ahead, I know. It's Isaiah 14, 21. Prepare slaughter for his children, Ooh. for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fear the face of the world with cities. Man, come on, man. Okay. <laughs> it said, for I will rise up against them, said the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and women. I said, first it said the name. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said, I'm going to cut off the name. Then the remnant, go ahead. Come on, cause everything start with a name. Exactly. <laughs> when you when you when you break, you know, like say when they go and take some shit, they take what the name off the building. You know what I'm saying? They take the name off the building. Therefore, I pray no, it's closed. Not it's longer here. You know. So the Lord said He's gonna take the name. Go ahead. <laughs> and remnant. And remnant. Go ahead. And son. And, ooh, and, and sons. And nephews. Said and, the Lord. And definitely not the scripture that broke down. We're talking about the broke down. Right. All right, <laughs> the Lord is gonna do away with you, Edomites, right after y'all thousand years of hardcore slavery, man. Right. Because why is this go start with the sons, the nephew? Because it take the man to produce uh, uh, fruit. Right. That's why he said he gonna leave them no roof nor branch. All right. Because the roof can be the 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 the, the man see. All right. But when he have a child, then he start his legacy. That with the branches come coming in there. No, the Lord gonna do away with all you Edomites, man. Yeah, because when you deal with the trees, uh, there's two ways that uh, the seed can come back. You know, if the branch, if a branch fall from a tree, it can take root and grow into another tree. Right. Yeah. And if you chop a tree down and you don't pull the roots out, it's, it can grow back. So the Lord, he's, he's going to choose that metaphor. You know, right. to explain how he gonna do away with the week. I got that Joel. And we waiting on the two, baby. It's Joel 20. And I'm gonna start at four. Don't you realize that from the beginning of time, ever since people were first placed on the earth, the triumph of the wicked has been short-lived. See? Are you reading the NLT, ain't you? Yup. Yeah, we're reading the uh, KJ uh, Slack, y'all. Reading the KJ Slack. Okay, it says, uh, Joel, uh, Joel 24. Yeah. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth? No, this of what? Of old, since man was placed upon the earth. Go ahead. That the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. Why? Right, because it was already set in stone. You see? It was already said the stones, man, the, the wicked don't live long. You know? <laughs> they didn't even say that in the world. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this a child. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> wicked don't live long, man. You know? But it was already written in the law for uh, uh, Esau. His judgment was already set. But you gotta go out. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reach unto the clouds. That's right. Fire motherfucker, go ahead. Yes, shall he perish forever like his own dumb. See, and he gonna perish forever like his own dumb. And you gotta talk about. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? Uh-huh. He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Right, because that's when the Lord take his power away from him, man. You know, everybody gonna be asking, well, where is he, you know? And Edomites is done away with. Man. It's gonna be over with, man. Hey, we the book of Obadiah. That's why I don't want to be the Edomite. Yeah, they try to hide from their identity, man, because they know what's what's coming. What goes around comes around. Nature itself teaches that. All right. Go ahead. Uh. It says, "Yeah, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night." Woo. Come on, man. This is the anger of the Lord, man. All right, they say it well upon the wicked. Go ahead. That was it. Okay, man. You got that turn out? Look, that song off. I'll see ya. This is Psalm chapter 2 and verse 1. Why do the heathen rage? Why? Why do the heathen rage, man? Go ahead. And the people imagine a vain thing. Right, they imagine vain things, man. And what they imagine, they said, make a market great again. That, that's, that's the vain. That's, that's not going to happen. 
You know what I'm saying? You wish it, you 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 wish it upon a star. Like what like Michael Jackson, you know, that is not gonna happen, man. Make a Michael great again. And here it is, they're trying to uh be successful in, in the uh NWO. Alright, the Lord gonna throw a monkey wrench in the game, man. It's over with. Alright, uh, you know how you play in Super Mario, they throw the banana peel, you gonna slip. You know? That's what the Lord got for you, man. You know, you, you're not gonna prevail. The, the scripture just said you're not gonna succeed, man. Go ahead, brother. Yo, hey, okay. hey, you like this all uh, yacht back here, let's take that American melody. <laughs> hey, this hey, Melga is on this uh, way out. Man, man Murk gonna sing like Reggie. Oh, 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 another professor. When he slammed him in the uh in, in, in the, in the um, piano. piano. Yeah. Now sing, Reg. Oh! <laughs> I'm not going down, going down bad, man. Go ahead, Doc. Yeah, this, uh... Nah, that one, that one need on that one, wasn't it? I, uh, I can read the verse, too. Go ahead. Like, this is, uh, Psalms 2 and 2. And the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord yeah. and against his anointed saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. Uh -huh. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in the region. Exactly. That's what the Lord got them in a trick bag. And the Lord laughing at them. Through who? Through the prophets. Because get what the prophets telling them. They going to slavery and they all in their own kingdom. Yep. So you know the so you know the Lord is tripping. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Verse 5. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath Ooh. and face them in his sword displeasure. That's how you know the Lord ain't come back talking uh, 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 physically, you know. No, he, he going to talk with his wet swords, man, which is the missiles and them lasers that shoot from the chariots. That's how he going to get down. You know, go ahead. Uh. It's Amos 9 to 8. It said, Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashamel, shot are upon the self of kingdom. And who is the eyes of the Lord? The angels. All right, also the men of the Lord. All right? So the Lord's eyes on you twice. Yep. You know? Go ahead. So he double checking. And, and I. And I would destroy it from off the face of the earth. See, the Lord said he gonna destroy it from off the face of the earth, man. Yep. The Lord said the earth will buy the way forever. It's just the Lord gonna destroy the so-called white man and his rulership. All right, he gonna take his power away from him. That's what that means. All right, and he gonna destroy what? Off the face of the earth. As we read, all right, he gonna leave the North group, North branch, and he gonna kill all his descendants. All right, and they said hardcore punishment, as it was written, he that lead it to captivity shall go into captivity. All right, he that kill it with the sword, what must be killed with the sword? Here's the patience and the faith of who? The saints. Who are the saints? The Israelites, man. Yeah. All right, that's what we patiently waiting on, man. The downfall of our enemy and the rise of Israel, man. All right, start with you, how we shot. Say me that I would not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Right, he's not going to utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Why? Because he said, what? Well, he shall be saved. And he talking about who? The elect. He's going to have a remnant, man. Because we, it's written in uh, what they did. Zechariah. Uh, no, not Zechariah. But, uh, 13, it is Zechariah 13, 13. All right, how two thirds are going to be put to death and one third going to be left to ring. You know? What you got it out? That's what that song. It's song like uh, uh, six. Then. Take a ride, thirteen Now you gotta get it here. Six, six, and five is like in Hebrew, ten, thirty-one. You got some out? Uh, Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah. Twenty-two. Yeah. 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 Come on, come on. Cause this Psalm sixty-six six, and five. It say, come and see the works of the Mosai. He is terrible in his doing toward the children of men. One more time, I said what? It said, come and see the works of the Lord. Yeah, come and see the works of the Lord. Go ahead. Wait, come and see the works of the Mosai. What? Yahweh so much shy. He is terrible. He is terrible. Well, how is the Lord terrible? How did he get the name out of Satan? See, because of his power, man, he make known upon the earth. Yeah. We what judgments? Can I, can I Ruler death. You know what I'm saying? 
Huh? Can I read three? Yeah, go ahead. Uh. Psalm 66 and 3. Say unto the most high, How terrible art thou in thy works. How terrible art thou in thy works. And you see the works of the Lord, man. How certain people die, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 how so uh accident happened. You know what I'm saying? Happened. You see that that's the works of the Lord. Yep. Go ahead. It said, through the greatness of that power, should that enemy submit themselves unto thee. <laughs> hey, out of who? <laughs> it said, through the greatness of thy power. See the greatness of thy power. See, it, it, the power of the, of the Lord was coming upon this place, man. They ain't gonna have no 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 thing but surrender. I mean surrender. Yep. You know? Two thirds of our people, they gonna give it up. They, they, gonna, they, gonna, <laughs> they gonna give up the ghost, man. Go ahead, uh. They say, all the earth shall worship thee, and shall sing unto thee. They shall sing to thy name. Verse 5, come. It said, all the earth shall worship thee, right? What? And then I, uh, uh, in Revelation, the first chapter. All right, how they go, uh, matter of fact, all, every eye, and, uh, every knee shall bow. I got, I got, I got that. You gotta get it, uh. Uh, it's uh revelation i mean it's not romans 14 and 11. for as it is written as i live said the lord every knee shall bow to me and every tongue confess every tongue will confess that what he is you see he the only begotten son he is your shot he is our deliverer he is our savior he is our redeemer all right our redeemer yep, this one. Slide. Go ahead, uh. It's Philippians uh, 2, I'm going to start at 9. It says, Wherefore the Most High had highly exalted him. The Most High, Yahweh, highly exalted Yahweh Shah, man. All right? Remember, all power was given up to him, right? Right. Go ahead. And giving him a name which is above every name. Ooh, and giving him a name which is what? All right? All right, go ahead. That at the name of Yahweh Shah, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. Man, and that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shah Mashiach is Lord. You see, every tongue going to confess. Bring it out again, I'm not. That was it on there. To the glory of Yahweh the Father. Yep. Bring it out again, I'm not. Psalm 66 and 4. All the earth shall worship thee. See, all the earth shall worship thee. You see that? All right? So in the kingdom of heaven, everyone gonna what? Worship who? Yahweh Shah. Matter of right. fact, get that, uh, uh, bring it here to the state of the court, Yeah, yep. I got that too, Blue. 19, 27. Yeah, 19. Cause you got guys talking about don't, don't worship your house. Right, exactly. exactly. Come on, man. That don't make sense. But just say it, what? All people gonna worship you how about Shabbat Shabbat. Because if you don't worship the Lord, this is what's gonna happen. This is Luke chapter 19 and verse 27. Look, this is what's gonna happen if you don't wanna worship you how Shabbat, man. But those my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them. That's yes, right. Bring hither and slay them before me. You gonna die. All right, if you don't wanna get down, what it say, get down and lay down? If you don't wanna get down, you gonna lay down, man. All right, you're going to be put to death with it, that's plain. Because what? All people, what? Don't worship Yahweh Shah, man. All people going to worship the Lord, man. That, that's it on that? Yeah, that's it. All right. Go ahead, I. This is Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living power. All right, see, it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living power, man. This is why, brothers, we got it. We got to continue with it. We see it. We see that the destruction is, is, is near, man. We just got to hold fast with our hell, man. To let no man take thy crown, man. You know, we continue in the glory uh, uh, of this wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Go ahead. Verse 32. But call to remembrance the former days in which after Ye were illuminated. That's right. Ye endured a great fight of affliction. See, we endured a what? Great fight of affliction, man. This is why Pastor Paul uh, stated that. Endure all things for the elect's sake. You know, fight a good fight of faith. You see, because that, that's what really going gonna, gonna to keep us stable. All right, faith. All right, and, and maintaining it in, in, in the spirit. 
Go ahead. Yeah, if I may add, and it's saying that because you gotta remember, you know, when you come in this truth, you're gonna go through an ex ex different experiences. You're gonna experience different tribulations and trials. And what ends up happening is when you overcome those trials, you have a tendency to forget. So that's why the most high bring more trials and tribulations upon you. When those new trials and tribulations come, you ought to call to mind when you endured the previous trials and tribulations. What gave you the ability to get over those things? The spirit of probably all about some outside. That's right. Yeah. So you can read that again from the top. Go ahead, bro. Good. So this is back in Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 32. Uh -huh. But call to remembrance the former days. That's right. In which after ye were illuminated, yeah. ye endured a great fight Ooh. of afflictions. Hey, hey, it ain't gonna stop until what? You have a shot come deliver us. It ain't gonna stop. They're gonna keep going and keep going and keep going. Hey, that's what we signed up for. Yeah. Come to global. <laughs> that's it. Hey, it's gonna keep going. But we got the cheat code. You know, and we pray to Yahweh Shemar Shai to, to cease their troubling. You know, and he gonna, he gonna cease it for a minute, we're gonna bring him right back up. Yeah. But why? Because it's called purification, man. That's how you know he's purifying us, man. Yeah. You know, he's making us right. This ain't our mission, man. It's right. Yeah. Yep. Go back, go back to what we started out with. And we'll end it on that. Uh, Ezekiel 33, and he started at 7. I think he was at 7. This is Ezekiel chapter 33. It's, it's sad for y'all think it's very sick. But you can read six through seven. I'll just let you read all down to that. Okay, cuz so this is Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 6. But if the watchman see if the sword come and blow not the trumpet, right. and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, right. he is taken away in his iniquity, right. but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Exactly, you see? So if the blood required on your hand, what's the best option to do? Come out here and warn the people. Right. So you won't be fought for it, man. You won't be blind. You won't be blameless. All right? You won't be blameless out here, man. I, I told them. It's just like, uh, your, your brother saw you a little, and he did something wrong, bust him up. I told him not to do that. I told him so. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's how we do it. I told him. Yeah, I still got a testimony there, too. Like, I ain't feel no type of way when, when the judgment happened to him, man. We basically broke his finger. I just said, shit, I told him. Yeah. I said, go to mama, goddamn. <laughs> Cause why? You won't be blamed for it, man. Cause could say one to me if I preach not the gospel, man. You see, so we gotta tell these folks where they hear where they for them, man. That's right. So, you see, so we ain't gonna feel no type of way, man. The everybody has a chance to repent, like I say, when Acts the seventeenth chapter, he commanded every man, everyone to repent. Mm -hmm. You know, cause this is grace. You know, we right. hey, this is grace. But, uh, grace is running out, man. Yeah. So we see a lot of dead bodies. So when the Lord bring judgment, you know, we ain't about to show sympathy, man. It's good to say we should laugh at their calamities, man. You know. Why would they break up? Mark, you know. That's right. <laughs> they mocking us. That's right. <laughs> they mocking the prophets. But what it say? What goes around comes around. The one two that laugh now, you should cry later, right? Yeah. That's right. That's right. You got up. This is back in Ezekiel chapter thirty-three and verse seven. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Ooh, go ahead. Therefore, thou shalt hear the word at thy at my mouth right. and warn them from me. That's right. And that's what we're doing. We're warning you for who? You have by somebody with shot, man. All right, time is ticking. We almost out of here. So guess what? Repent. Because what? The kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. Hold on, man. You see, hold on and endure. That's it, man. That's all we can do. You know? Anything good, brother? Yeah. Yeah, so with that, man, I hope you brothers and sisters edify. You know, once again, give our honor, glory, and power to Yahweh. Y'all you All right, I'm going to say double honor to our elders and peace and bless our hope and elect. Till next time, shalom. Shalom. Baba 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 Baba